I sat down today and I thought, well, today's a normal day where I need to record a video. And I was scratching my head wondering, what should I record? And something popped to mind, something rather exciting. <laughs> and cringy, mainly cringy. So a month or so ago, I came across a YouTube channel called Rick Raptor 105, I think it was. And he was reviewing people who did JPOG movies. Very inspired walking with dinosaur movies. And one of those people that he reviewed was a guy called Ollie Rockon. Walking with Spinosaurus by Ollie Rockon is the first JPOG video I ever saw on YouTube. Also, it's hilarious how transparent this kid's bias is. His fin teeth cannot crush bones like those of T-Rex. And he wasn't that intelligent. I used to know Oli Rockon. In fact, I think I'm still friends with him on Facebook. He reviewed a lot of different channels that did these mockumentaries where they, they just recorded in-game footage and plastered text over the top of it. But what he didn't know was that there was another YouTuber that inspired all of those. And that YouTuber was DV Rex. So a long time ago, this same beaver was an edgy teenager. <laughs> Cast your mind back to a time when YouTube was just a baby and there was a five star rating system and videos were at max length. More than, well, less than 10 minutes, that's for sure. They were probably like five to three minutes. And a little beaver. Who, uh, who, who wanted to be... Actually, I don't know. He just wanted to share his weird series with the world. Bear in mind, most people didn't know really much about YouTube. Even in high school, I think, it wasn't this platform where everybody knew what YouTube was and everyone was using it. So, buckle yourselves in because we're about to take a trip down memory lane to watch The Dead Land. <laughs> Ah, here we are. Ooh, I can smell the dust on this old thing. Good lord. This channel right here was my serious channel dedicated to my The Deadland series. What was The Deadland, I hear you ask? Well, you've probably seen that epic, edgy little intro that I'm sure teenage James would have been very proud of. So the series was heavily inspired by another creator called DV Rex. He made like the first uh, proper series in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. And it was like Isla, Isla Murta, episode one. This was a series about a bunch of people that ended up on an island. And then it turned out there were zombies. Oh, zombie dinosaurs. However, will they escape? And there was a bunch of other YouTubers who did similar things. There was Ollie Rock on, of course. I remember another one being Jungle Trooper. In fact, actually, if we go onto my Deadland page and we go about, uh, apart from me plugging my new channel at the time, <laughs> um, at the bottom, there's a link. It says www.thedeadlandseries.pixo.com. This is where I documented the process of making the series, as well as I had a segment that archived any YouTuber I came across that made videos in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Uh, but if you click on it now, <laughs> a car park now owns my old Deadland series. Oh, website, that's ridiculous. And finally, this brings us to the Deadland, heavily influenced by DV Rex, who was the first ever YouTuber, like a story that progressed from episode to episode in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. So if you want to find this series for yourself, I will have a playlist for it on The Gaming Beaver, but do not watch it, please don't, it's horrendous. Even though on the Deadland YouTube channel, it says that this was first uploaded May 19, 2011. We can go to my older YouTube channel, T091, and find that episode seven, part two, was uploaded 30 years ago. Um, so that means that this is, the trailer was probably put up 14, if not 15 years ago, making me probably 11 or 12 at the time of making this. So about the people who um waiting for the Deadland series, um, that'll be on uh, later. So here we go, the Deadland, oh. This, this is the trailer for, for the Deadland. Oh my God, look at the quality. I don't even know what quality this is. I also, unfortunately, can't use the music. 
because it's the intro song to one of the Resident Evil movies. Because I was, I was, I was edgy. I was like, yeah, have lots of fade outs in the island. Oh, it looks all empty. But look at the quality of this and the dimensions as well. This is way before HD and stuff on YouTube. Uh, look, I didn't even know how to hide my mouse or anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a panning shot of the helicopter. A crash. A crash. <laughs> and there's no crash. I remember thinking, oh, how can I get like an explosion? I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. A strange compound. Look at this so far. Oh, look. See, look at that. It took ages to get them to stand there without any path. Because normally in j -Pod, they walk around. What happened here? They're all, they're screenshot. <laughs> just, just a screenshot of dead people on the floor. What is over the, well, they were over the fence, James. Um, oh, look, oh, what was that? Oh, oh, the glitch that made people go really big for some odd reason. <laughs> but for now, the marooned. Stay in the compound, wondering what is out there. And then I, then I just show it, I spoil it. A genetic malfunction? Oh, look at that! It's a <laughs> creatures from hell! <laughs> Find out more in the episode! <laughs> oh, it just, it just cuts. Oh, we, oh we, we just go straight to it. So episode one. This, I think, is Trespasser. Now, that's supposed to be an explosion. After the helicopter had crashed. Yeah, I, I never could play Trespasser, but um, the... Uh, S did you? S oh, I got that right. <laughs> little, little crying face in the background. Okay, I'll pause it just for a second. So I remember I couldn't play uh, Trespasser because my computer couldn't handle it. Trespasser. I know I had it on CD. I was so excited to get it, and my computer couldn't handle it. Uh, so I made this on Fraps. It's a free version of Fraps. Never use Fraps ever because it makes files that are absolutely huge. And I remember when I would like record these episodes or when I wanted footage, I would I would click F9 or whatever it was to record it. And the game would literally freeze and then slowly start playing. So at, like every capture, I remember importing it to Windows Movie Maker and just cutting the start out because it, it would never look good. Unless I want like a slow-mo scene where they would start to go. Now DV Rex, he paid for his fraps. Probably m might be why it's better, I suppose, but I didn't. So. You're gonna see loads of recurring characters here, and there will be a plethora of flipping spelling mistakes in this. You're gonna love it. Uh, now the characters' names—they only have first names. I remember the characters. Um, I, I used painstakingly every episode used the same models for those characters to get them to talk, and their names were actually what the uh, P the AI's names were. Because I was like, oh, I don't know what to call him. Lee. His name's Lee. <laughs> Actually, no, Lee was my friend's brother's name. I think he's the only one that I didn't. I didn't. There must be people over there, he exclaims. So I think this is just after a crash. Although something was watching them from the trees. Oh, good. No, no spelling mistakes yet. They had found a small gap in between the fence, which you can obviously see there. Sally, being a born leader, decides to take the group inside. Ooh, no spelling mistakes here so far. You're doing good jobs. Although two members of the group, Matthew and Peter, decide it would be safer to stay outside. Also, there's a lot of like Jurassic Park OST in here. Original soundtrack. Matthew spots something in front. Am I getting that right of him? But Peter doesn't, whatever. Oh, he's dead! Oh, f <laughs> Matthew decides to join the rest of the group. You didn't see it, there was a really pixelated raptor chasing him. <laughs> Just again to run, to the run animation. Inside the group decide to split up. Sven decides to check out the kiosk when he discovers something. Sven was a main character. Oh my God, what happened to you? Sally. What's all the fuss about? Prof, there's no time for that. You have to get to the turret. <laughs> it's over in that bush. <laughs> that fence won't hold. Oh, I didn't even have time to see that. Oh, okay, okay. Look, it's a raptor that killed Peter or something. And it comes and it's... Pi oh, oh, here we go, the turret. Did I actually shoot it? I can't remember. Sally, what is that? Look, no sound effects or anything because I didn't know how to do that. Whatever it is, it doesn't... Uh, a, pro a while back, we tried to kill them all, but it didn't work uh, of consequences. Uh, get that bloody body and drive straight till you can see water. The, then d dump... Okay, I'll come with you. So, look, look at that! 
Did you see that Lee started walking with Sven? And like, I was like, oh yes, I can use that scene. It was me literally just following them until they did something that I wanted them to do. Not even a year before I decided to make this series, I had propped my camcorder in front of the screen and would talk over the footage as like a David Attenborough narrator, like with Walking With Dinosaurs or something. I deleted that series. I'm so annoyed at myself I deleted that series. I really wish I hadn't, because I'd love to react to that now. So guys, if you're watching, or if you're you're a teen or whatever, you're making some series that you think's really cool, and then you get older and you think, oh, I should probably delete this before anyone finds it, don't. Don't do it. You will regret it. Keep everything. Keep it, because you'll look back at that and think, wow. <laughs> Okay, so you've got episode two. So these are really short episodes because unless you were like partnered or whatever, you could, for one, you couldn't have custom thumbnails and you couldn't make episodes longer than five minutes or so something like that. Uh, so here we go. So they're going to take the body and they're going to drive till they see the water. So Lee, hey, wait. Sven, why? Look at the front to the top right. What do you know that we don't? Prof, do you want to kill that thing? Take it to the water and drop it outside and wait. Lee, I'm still not sure about this. Sven, me neither. He seems very secretive. <laughs> There's no good looking lasses here either. <laughs> WTF? <laughs> it must be quite far. So far, not too many spots. Well, I think we are here. Oh yeah, there's a river. Oh, I remember this. Yep, what do we do again? It was so hard to convey stuff because you work within the boundaries. We take the body outside. I was joking. I know. Haha. <laughs> Funny joke. <laughs> well, let's get out the body. I remember having to set this up. Sven, now we wait. Oh yeah, that's a comatose raptor. Oh, here we go. This is Trespasser again, I think. The soundtrack. <gasps> this, this is like the compies running at uh, Dita Stark. You know, like... <gasps> Lee, what are they? They're warning us! The Jurassic Park 3 soundtrack kicks in. <laughs> I'm probably gonna mute so much of this. It looks like the smell brought them here, <laughs> says Lee. Ah, he's trying to break in! Ah! Stop it! They're checking us. Like, Sven's the cool collected one here. Lee's the one who's like, oh, there's no girls here. They yeah, couldn't see that, but the uh, raptor was... When they die, when they're undead, um, they turn living again. So I remember having to wait for the raptor to kind of be eaten before recording. So... This, this was, um, there was a cheat code, if you didn't know, in JPOG that allowed to turn your dinosaurs into zombies. And that's why the EV Rex series was called Isla Murta, because that's what the cheat code was called. Um, and I just decided to copy him and do my own thing, because I saw him and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Zombies are cool. And dinosaurs are cool. I want to do my own. <laughs> so here we go. Sven, that's it. That's what we've been waiting all this time for. Now we are bait. Great! So this is Sven like realizing, or oh, in my head, I wanted the audience to get it, that the professor tried to kill them by luring them, like the body out, and the Dilophosaurus to kill them and have no evidence. So you're not supposed to know at the moment, but the professor's evil. <laughs> what you got there, Lee? Ah, take it out of here! What, is he gonna drive? Oh, he's got a gun! Where'd you learn to fire one of those? <laughs> this again was another cheat. You weren't supposed to do this. You're like in the Explorer, you're supposed to have a picture, but if you put in a cheat, you could shoot dinosaurs. Was, I love this. It was the best cheat in the world. I loved it. Sven, you couldn't hit them if you tried. Oh, he's like, shh. Is he going to get shot? Oh, yeah, he got him. Well, the crescendo of the music kicks in as he's killing them all. <laughs> Are you a soldier? <laughs> shh, Lee says, because he's concentrating. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember this so much. Yes, I was. <laughs> Let's get out of here before something bigger comes and give the profs a... Uh, I'll bring the gun so that they're, they're going back now. But the dead bodies have attracted something. Oh, and then we cut straight to something else. <laughs> it's like, oh, it was so hard to like try to get... I could see what I was trying to do. Meanwhile, Matthew decides to go into the viewing platform. No, Matthew is my friend's name. I must have called him. I must have named him after Matthew. Matthew, I can see everything from up here. Also, the... Ooh, she's... Whoa, 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 hold on. What? What? I can see everything from up here. What did they say? Ooh, she's got nice legs. <laughs> It's just one of those things when you're, you're a teenager, like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, he's looking around. He's looking around. 
Oh, I remember. You probably won't even see this. Matthew's like, huh? Now, over in the distance, a T-Rex breaks through the trees. You can just see like it. Matthew's like, not again! Because <laughs> he got attacked by the raptor last time. He's like, they're coming! They're coming! Wow. I like how I don't even move my mouse off screen. Sometimes I just keep it on there. As night... Oh, 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 God. Oh, I, I missed that. So, night's arriving. Something's happening. So in order to get the idea across that night is here, I darkened the screen. Pro tips. I'm not joking. They are coming. And the random caps as well. It's beautiful. If what you say is true, we must go and talk to the prof that professor, says Sally. Matthew to himself, I've got to get out of here and hide somewhere. He, you know, in all zombie movies, there's always a guy who's like, oh, oh, I'm gonna, gonna get out. Like, that, that's who Matthew is. <laughs> so, you know, he's already been through it. He's already been through it. He doesn't want to go through it again. Sally, where is he? Where's the professor? Oh, here they come. They're coming back. I've got a few things to say to that professor, says Sven. I'll bring the gun, <laughs> says Lee. I'll park the car outside. Lee, where is that guy now? <laughs> Sven, he's not up here. <laughs> he goes like, oh, I can't see him. <laughs> so just trying to like use their animations to, I mean, you can't even tell. Sally, he's not here. There's just me taking a clip from the Lost World. <laughs> I try my best. Well, like, this is them, like, you couldn't get people standing still, so I just took a screenshot. You see the fraps kind of at the top right? What was that? Sven, I've watched Jurassic Park too often, too often to know what's that. We have to do something right now! What are you gonna do, Sven? Sally, me and Sven and this group will go in the car. That's right, I remember on my website I had, like, pictures of the characters and their personalities and, like, if they're alive or not. <laughs> it's like, dead. Fine, I'll watch from the air in this! <laughs> so, I, like, when once you, like, research something, the little narrator says what the product is you've researched. And I vividly remember, like, taking that audio and then just, like, cutting loads of bits out so it sounded like she was breaking up. And I was like, that's so cool. I can make it sound like it's broken down. <laughs> so, and, of course, the character comments on it. Sounds busted. Hope the balloon isn't bust, too. I was so proud that I kept it all in. What are we really doing? Sally whispering. I'm trying to lure that monster away from here. Because she's a hero. It's, it's like Sally's the main protagonist. So you're, cra you're, you're crazy? How's that spell? <laughs> there are more innocent people in that area. We may survive. I hate you, says Sven. <laughs> Just keep an eye out. You never know where he's going to be. Where he's going to show up. I think we've all got our eyes on it. Oh, because it's chasing them. Here it comes! More Jurassic Park 3 sound effects, sir. Wow, these are cool. <laughs> Just keep driving, Sarah. Wait, is that Sarah and Sally? Yeah, Sarah. Sally's the leader. It's still behind us. Why? I got Sven, Sarah, Sally. Why do I have so many S's? Sven, that's a big b <laughs> Let's hope it ke keeps the T-Rex distracted. Yeah, look at this. They're fine. How epic is this with the car in the background? You know how many times I took to get that? Go, T-Rex! <laughs> you know how many times I took this, like, to get this shot with the explorer in the damn background? You see me turn the camera to keep the car in there. Come on, come on. <laughs> That's me saying, come on, come on. I'm I'm t I've always been terrible with spelling. I feel sorry for that little dino. Do I say it got away? No? Okay. And this is where it's like, oh no! Come on! Let's go! Now! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so going to have to mute some of this audio because it's just pure Jurassic Park soundtrack. <laughs> and then this is just like, oh, look, who's going to win out of all of these? I don't even remember. Oh, does the T-Rex die? <gasps> look, I've slowed it down. I've slowed it down to make it look like the T-Rex died and I leave it on a cliffhanger. Did the T-Rex die? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah! See, if you know J-Pog, that's car car, so T-Rex died. That's enough excitement for one day. Let's find a place to rest. Oh, oh god, yes. So, I had some ideas with this series. Some, some big ideas. 
and this was one of them. And I didn't really know how to record it because it's in game. I can only do what the game allows me. So this was like a spooky kind of section. So like, oh, what's those buildings? Let's get closer. And I think this is more Jurassic Park 3 soundtracks because I didn't know how to rip down soundtracks. I actually had the CD. <laughs> so I was just like, that, I was listening to the tracks and thinking, what could this track be used for? And th this is how this came about. Sarah, now this is cool. <laughs> Sally, it doesn't seem like it's been used in a while. So these are supposed to be like research facilities, but they're just cleaning stations <laughs> in game. But we might see a different one here. Why would it have been built near the water? Questions. Let's park outside. I'm wondering if I managed to do it. I, Sven, you and me will go inside. Use just wait in the car, Sarah. Sounds good to me. Sven, see you in a minute. Did I manage to do this? I can't remember. I had a had a plan for what to do. Anna? Well, this is boring. Who's Anna? Anna, I'm getting out, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> like the dot 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 was supposed to be she speaks after, like like a sentence. Oh, Anna, glad I brought my umbrella. Oh, I remember why Anna's here now. Glad I brought my umbrella. I wonder what is out there as she looks wistfully into the ocean. And here we go, she take her to. <laughs> because she couldn't go into the water in Jurassic Park Origin Genesis. So this is me like trying to get like an animal point of view or something under the water. And it's, oh, it's going for the cleaning. Look at the frames per second. It's like th three, <laughs> if that. What was that? You see, I put a splash sound effect in. That was cool. And look at this, me, it go up and down. I'm going to take a look into the water. <laughs> this is her, like, looking down. Wow, it's dark. I got, the, I got, like, the angle, I guess, right, I suppose. Wow, it's so dark. Now, I don't know if the water was supposed to be black and white. I just wanted to make it, like, a cloudy. Hey, what was that noise? Better check it out. And this is like, this is her going close to the edge. So the monster was about to get her, but she walked away. <laughs> hey, I found some notes. Sally. Well, read them. We'll, we'll read them. They seem to be recent, right? <clears throat> oh, this, this is me going back in time now. So like showing the incident that happened. <clears throat> when we had heard the news, we took the canisters in and closed the lid. We had heard what had happened and we all agreed it would be better to get rid of it. Ooh. We took it to the edge of the water, only to hear the roars that what that's that that, <laughs> so, that had been described to us over the phones. <gasps> Ooh. You see there's like smoke coming out of the water. We had thought we had succeeded, but to see what horrid gas but to see that horrid gas coming out of the water. We lost a member of our crew today. Oh surprise, shock sound of it! He was out fishing when he was gouged by the creatures that the devil what? The gas has now reached the land. I am now locked in a secure room by myself. I dread to think what is happening outside. So it's a mixture of like Jurassic Park, Resident Evil, and D Dino Crisis. It was just like everything that I liked. I was like, ah, oh, let's put it all together. So the gas, ooh, I found my fellow scientists dead on the floor. At least I would have been, at least it would have been nicer. What had happened to the creatures on the island had happened to them. I have locked myself away in that same room. I like how I have to pause it because I didn't leave enough space. Because you couldn't. Because you only had like three minutes. If anyone reads this, I have taken a picture of a creature you should de definitely <laughs> stay away from. As I have been next to one. And I am assured to die. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, goodbye! <laughs> oh, there it is! Although, for whatever reason, I, I knew it was a long text, but I, I put it over the picture and I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> so it's a Dilophosaurus. You need to stay away from that. Anna, has it been you that has been making this noise? It's the creature! <laughs> oh, it's squeaking. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? It's okay. Don't be frightened. So it's like it's like you know the situation where the audience knows more than the people. Like no, it's like a, it's like a panto. Go away from it. <laughs> Ow! It bit me. Or yeah, literally like bit as in a bit. Like is that how you spell bit? Maybe I don't even know. No, go away, Susanna. Is you gonna get spat on? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I just want to make it more. No, it's faster than me as as she's further away now. <laughs> I wanted this chase scene. You're a what? You're a right. Ooh, expletive. You know that. 
I think, does she get caught here? I think she does. I just wanted a cool scene where I like runs up to her then spits her. What is this stuff? It burns! <laughs> and then it eats her! Oh, we can't show that. We can't show that. We have to see if she's okay. <laughs> no! No, she's right. We might not want her back after what I've read. Sven knows. Episode 5. We're like halfway through the series. Are you enjoying it? <laughs> Sarah, why don't we go back and save Anna? Because Sven's the only one who knows. I think, I think because she was beyond safe. Oh, did Sally and Sven go in? I can't remember. Now that's strange. Oh, a herbivore! Sven. Well, don't, well, don't hit it. <laughs> well, good going. You frightened it. Poor creature. So Sarah's like the ditzy like kind of cat. I don't even know, man. I was just, I was literally just going from set piece to set piece with this series. <laughs> And you'll see how crazy it gets, trust me. You think this is weird with the pollution and the zombie? It's gonna get a lot weirder, Sally. And I wanted to sort of add that into the game, like, he's putting Zoo Tycoon 2 footage in? <gasps> what else is he gonna do? <laughs> Sally, shut up you two, it's a living dead monster. Now let's get some rest. <laughs> oh wait, that was Sally? Oh, okay. As we could fall asleep, things in the distance get closer. That was cool. I like the way the text put the dupe in the middle. It's like a huge head. I can't remember what, what, this is still the ground shakes underneath. This is the narrator. The narrator says this. It's like it's like a walk with dinosaurs, Resident Evil game footage documentary thing. Oh, just about three footage. Uh, sorry, soundtrack again. No. Oh. <laughs> As morning arrives, the herd comes closer to the vehicle. <laughs> This strange yet putrid sight was eye-catching. Yawn, says Sally. Oh, um, emotes. Oh my god. Oh, lightning. What? What is it? Says Sven. Sarah. Wow, could I touch one? <laughs> no, it'll bite your hand off. Whew. Good Sally or Sarah, whatever. Or you could catch something. Fine, Dad. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Look at the right, it's beautiful. Nothing. <laughs> I swear to God, I was just making stuff up while like the footage was playing. I remember just like putting it all together and going, okay, let's do the text. I preferred like just having, you know, the footage, but I was like, no, we have to have text. So that was me just like, well, I've got time. What did you say? So they're still having an argument while the Acrocanthosauruses are are like chasing them in the distance, but they don't realize it. <gasps> oh! It's like we, the audience, know more. I think we need to get, we need to go now. Not until I know what she said, says So they're still having this argument. <laughs> well, these huge carnivores are around. And there was no mods. I never put mods on this. Sven, watch it! I always thought if I put mods in, if they make JPOG 2, it won't be compatible, so that's why I didn't do it. Sorry for- what? Uh, okay. This is just suicide, says Sven. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna kill the Edmonto. I- I remember making so many adrosaurs and stuff for this scene. We're going to die! Sally, you're the hero, what are you talking about? We're not gonna die. Do you know who's directing this? T091 at the time. <laughs> Soon to be the Deadland. Soon to be Beaver Media. Soon to be Gaming Beaver. <laughs> but lots of aliases. So is this where the Acrocondosauruses go? Oh, well, let's chase that. Yeah, look at the cars in the distance. It's like he's going for the car. Uh, learn how to drive. <laughs> who, who is driving? Is, is Lee there? They're not driving, Sally. What? Oh, right. So Sarah's saying it to the to the paras, like, learn how to like as if they're cars. Uh, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> God. I wanted a shot with the car running through, but there was no way of that happening, because the cars would automatically stop if something broke the way. While the younger two are catching their prey, the adult has something else on the menu. I'm trying to, I was just went to like move the mouse, and I was like, no, it's, I can't, it's the game. <laughs> I'm sure he's after us. See, Sven has to tell you what I want you to know. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beavers. Oh, James. You thought this was so cool at the time. But for now, it settles for something else. I'm definitely gonna have to change this audio. This is just literally a full track from Jurassic Park 3. Sven. Who was that? Oh, did you see? Oh, I, 
I don't know. There was a there was a person standing there. I, you, you barely would have had notice to like time to see it. Watch out! Oh, it's spinning out of control. Oh, there's raptors. Yeah, you can barely see them. But now the raptors have joined in on the hunt, and they're also taking down the the parasaurs and kuritosaurs and edmontosauruses. Is it gonna kill it? Is it gonna kill it? I like completely away from the story. You have to find out. You have to know. Will it get away? I mean, if it did, I wouldn't show you, right? <laughs> I think. Does it die? Like, there's so many different shots of it. I'm like, die already. Oh, and it died behind a tree. The, I would like to say that was directive choice, but no. <laughs> as the crew, episode six, we're flying through this. As the group in the vehicle make their way back to the compound. Ooh, ooh. What's going to happen? Someone is making their way back to the stations by the sea. I call them stations. Why do I, I should have called them like labs or something. I don't mind to call them. So this is the professor. This is his backstory moment. This is that moment in the anime where it's like different from the rest, but it's all backstory for one character so you understand his motives. Before I even watched anime. <laughs> oh, like the beautiful music. Oh. What it's supposed to be like? Oh, he was he was this great man. <laughs> oh, look at Dryo. Oh, a zombie Dryo. How is he going to react towards it? What's he going to say? Oh, he's just he's just wistfully looking at the herbivores, the peaceful herbivores, looking at his creation. Now, you could cheat it. I better stay still. They look vicious. Oh no, he 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 thinks they're all bad still, even though they're herbivores. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember times. So to get a character to stand still, what you have to do is place one bit of path and then crash the car next to it or explode the car or something. Then the, the man would, or the character would run to the path and then stand there and do nothing. If there was, as long as there was one bit of path, you wouldn't run away or do anything. You save the game, load the game, the path would be gone. Something about JPOG just meant that if there was one square of path and you close the game and reopened it, it would be gone. So it looked like he was standing there and he chose to stand there. Really, there's an invisible path. <laughs> well, tick tricks of the trade. Oh, oh. He's like, oh, oh. As it gets close. I love that it went slower as it went past him. It was just bumping into him. <laughs> so he he's scared of these crew. It looks like you want to play. They couldn't, they couldn't hit people either. They couldn't move people, the dinosaurs. So it didn't matter how close he got, he wouldn't shift them. Maybe, just maybe. These creatures are friendly. Oh, oh look, now Bertosaurus. Ah, oh, that lovely. Ah! <laughs> the Apache's trying to whack him there. Eh? I like how we got uh, Homalus Heffley called there instead of the Apache. It looks like they're trying to scare him off. <gasps> look, there's loads of them now. They got their family and friends to warn him off. And Sven's running. Go away, shoot. So he's running towards the Albertosaur, telling him to leave them alone. It looks like it's working. It's like that scene in Dinosaur where they all roar at the car now. <laughs> it backs off. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got him. Yeah, hit him right where it hurts. <laughs> yeah, he got him. I think they do kill him because there's, there's like a couple of frames where he turns back to normal, if I remember right. Did they get him here? Oh, is he dead? Yeah, <laughs> message from Dr. Sattler. <laughs> Bye, my new friend. The thing is, I could have just muted the in-game audio so you never got that message from Sattler. So this is where it all went wrong. All the lives that have been lost. See, the music kicks in to be spooky. This is where I was like, well, this is where I'll tell a story. I can't let there be any witnesses to this catastrophe. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh my God. Part seven. No, oh, sorry. Part seven, part one. This is where... I uploaded in pure quality. This is 13 years ago now. Later that night, the group assembles. Look at that, look at the quality of that. Oh my God, what happened? I can't even remember what happened. I think I might have got a different PC or something. Or learned how to export. I think I learned how to export properly. The footage always looked like this. Sally, now that we're all here, what do you think we should do? Sarah, has anyone got a mobile phone? Sven. I've got one. I never know. She's wearing like a turkey shirt. I never noticed that as a kid. I've got a gun in the car. <laughs> Bob is a new cat. Bob's new. If you wouldn't mind me, I think I have an answer. Look, he looks like a professor type. Bob knows what's going on. <laughs> 
if you have time to listen to it. Right, there is a balloon right over there. Just go in. Just go in it and you should get a decent signal. And call the navy or something. Well, that's mine. Bye. <laughs> I was going to say, go to the top of the hill in the car, says Sally. I like, because there was only so long that they would sit down in the rest area before they get up and go. So without, I'd have to wait for him to, or another character that looked the same, to walk around the park and eventually go back. And I didn't have time for that. <laughs> Sven, shut up. Oh my God. Poor Sarah. Sven, is everyone in? Yep. Let me just turn my phone on. <laughs> oh, look, there's the herbivores and the brachiosaurs now. So as you can tell, if you, if you know anything about Jurassic Park, we're about to get that scene. Is, is there any bars? Give it a minute. Here we go. Here it is. Here's the scene that every Jurassic Park film has. Hey, look down there. Sarah, they're so cute. <sighs> I wouldn't say cute, says Sven. We need to go higher. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Putrid festering things. <laughs> but they're alive and they're beautiful. Even if they are undead. That's what we need to learn here, people. Look at them. You know how long it took me to set this all up? 12-year-old James had to, like, spend a whole day getting this scene ready. <laughs> and I actually made them right next to the island. I didn't, like, make a separate place to put them. I was like, I put them on the island. I probably saved it before I let them all out and then just delete the hatcheries for a later scene. Like, I like how you can see the flagpole to, for the balloon to know what direction to go in. Oh my god. Jeez. I couldn't have tried to like turn the camera a little bit because I had to get the, um, the things in. Hey, is that who I think it is? Says Sally. Oh, look, there he is. Yeah, that's the professor. Where is he going? Move the binoculars up. It's camera boring. <laughs> Why would he want to go back there? I don't know, but I've got a bad feeling about it. Do you know what Sven's gonna do? Look, look, look at the unhappy faces. I guess I'll have to sneak in. <laughs> it's like He knows the place, you see. He knows it. Part two! Because it was too big to fit in one episode because it was like six minutes long. <laughs> I remember posting something about it. I was like, this, this next episode's so big, it's in two parts. <laughs> I hope Sven isn't there. Oh, Sven said that. <laughs> that was, Professor was supposed to say that. Oh my God. Sven, I wish I was there. I would give him a piece of my mind. Sven, let's go back now. Prof, yes. Now that I'm in, I can place them. What's he placing? Oh, this is Jurassic Park OST. Maybe at this point I learned how to rip music down. I think, I think I'd learned. <laughs> Prof, that should do it. Oh, he's placed something in there. The viewing platform. Prof, where are those other people anyway? These are all people that don't count towards a story. <laughs> now for the rest. Oh, oh. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh, oh, there it is, bottom left, left, left bottom right. <gasps> it's the canisters from the, the, the shore. Can't this thing go any faster? Look, look, he's leaving. He's fan spotted him. Wow. It's only a matter of time now. Is he, is he going to walk away? I, there was a button you could press to not show the, the things come up. I think I better leave now. See, I had to wait for him to, like, turn around for him to say that. It's like, it's done. I'll go away. With that stuff, there shouldn't be any survivors. Oh, and he's looking out. Well, yep, that's some strong stuff. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fatality. Come on. We're going to have to make another trip. I've got to try find out what he's done. Lee's, Lee's going to see. No, Lee's left the group. He must have planted something somewhere. Maybe a bomb. Why, why would he think there's a bomb? Lee, where would he plant something? Hmm... It's just all the little happy, unhappy faces of people because it's a dirty park. <laughs> oh, is he going to find him? Is he going to find him? The clock's ticking. Oh, there's a dryasaur in here. I never know. I knew, oops. I didn't, I didn't know that was in there. Might as well ask if they've seen him. Like I was, Oh, ah, well, might as well have a cheeseburger. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Do you think we have enough time to get back there? Yeah, I think we've got enough fuel. I'm just wondering, like, why did they leave? 
Oh, are they trying to track down the professor? Oh, look at this camera it zooms! My god, he's learnt it! Is it in the toilet? Is it in the kiosk? Where is it? Oh, it was in the kiosk! No! It's too late. <laughs> No, Lee! Get out of there! Run! Get out of the- Continues coughing. <laughs> oh no. What's all the green stuff? I think we're too- Oh, I said, I said, I spelled it right this time. No! Everybody died. I put in the cheat to kill all guests. I think that boom. <laughs> I don't think there is anyone left. No! Lee! Do we see Lee dead? Damn that professor! He's like slamming down. I think maybe with Lee was- I don't know. Did Lee die? I still don't think I've got rid of Sven and his group. Now you see here, right? This little uh, thing to the right, where you get ra one of these random information boards. And unfortunately, when I placed that bit of path, that was all that happened. Now, I think I liked the angle. I liked the way he was looking. So I was like, ah, oh, sod it. Just leave it. I still don't think I've got rid of Sven and his group. Maybe there are some survivors. Wait, what's this? What's this? Oh no! <laughs> like how like, you can't even hide them coming up, they just die. <laughs> like all oh, they're scared! This bad <laughs> The tornado This bad <laughs> Good lord. Oh, I don't know why I chose the different Oh so right. I from this point on can't remember what happens in this series and I cannot wait. For four minutes, so we're still in the YouTube infant stage, it's like 12, 13 years ago. Now this was good quality stuff now. I still hadn't paid for fraps though. After the balloon got sucked up and dropped. I, I spelled balloon wrong as well. The balloon. The survives ended up in an unknown area of the island. The survives. <laughs> I missed an R, okay? Desperate to find out what had happened to the compound. <laughs> they stayed close together and moved in a group. I was taking myself very seriously at this point. Unfortunate for them, something else was about to happen to them. <laughs> Bob, come on. We have to go check this place. Oh, Bob came with them. No, we can't, says Sven. We have to stay together. So this is where I was like, okay, this is serious now. You stay together, I'll be back. I'd broken away from the compound. I was like, let's do something different. So now they're out in the wilderness. Great. Now what? I tell you, it was a bugger to get them all standing. I guess we just wait. <laughs> okay. Well, this sucks, says Bob. Prof, now that they've been taken care of, I can escape from this place. You know you know what was interesting with the series? I don't think I ever had a plan. I was just going episode to episode thinking what would be cool. I hope that little boat is still there. And you'll realize what the problem is with this, with doing that. I really shouldn't talk to myself. I might be going mad. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what happened to my friends. I was really good with that. I was really happy with that shot. He walked so close to the trees. Oh, balls! He bumped into them! What did you do to those people in the compound? They might out of all these quotes, they've managed to bump into them. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! <laughs> there are people here who said they saw you walking to various places. Explain that! Come on, prof, what are you gonna say? Yes, I did go into the compound, but what's wrong with needing the loo? You know, not gonna pee out in the open. Well, I think that's all there is. Oh, this is with Sven. Or I could be wrong. You know, not gonna pee out in the open. Well, I think that's all there is. Oh, this is with Sven. Or I could be wrong. He, he looks at he stopped and stood still. Oh, ah, and he ran away. You know how long it takes to get shots like that? Oh. This is the one that killed the T-Rex. He's alive. <sighs> so Sven comes running back. Help, help, someone. It's here. With no comma. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to record this. This is so much fun. It's him. He's back. Who's he talking about? Oh, he's running back to the group. Sally. I know who he's talking about. We have to move. Sally's got this tel telepathic link here. What's all this? Why do we have to move? Says the professor. I've, you've just bumped into me. Oh, oh. It's still sleeping. It's still sleeping. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's not sleeping anymore! It's a zombie dinosaur, so we're moving, says Sally. Oh, here we go, the hunting music from Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh, it's awake. Could mean Sven running away screaming. 
Why don't we just all stay still? I've seen it in the films. <laughs> oh, no! You can't see me! Oh, I got him, though! Oh, I got, it's not a T-Rex. That's why. I think that was my explanation. It was like, it's not a T-Rex. He'll die. Oh, the professor got his comeuppance! He got eaten! <laughs> Oh, there you go. Look, I think that's the compound. No! Leave the compound! Are we gonna go back? Sven, everyone stick together. Look at them run all in the same direction. I put a path slightly out of the way so they ran towards it. I think we should be safe together, says Bob. There's a lot of people running there. There's only five characters or something. <laughs> Sally, everyone calm down. She's a natural born leader, is Sally. If you didn't know, <laughs> I don't think we've got much time. We must hide somewhere, says Sven. Look at this place. It's like World War One. How old is Bob? <laughs> I thought we he would have made... Oh, no, there he is. There's Lee. If he did, the Twister got him. Ah, we have to do something before it comes back. Oh, I remember what happens here, I think. Oh, oh, episode nine. I'd be careful. You don't know what these bodies could have lured here. Oh, oh. Oh, a raptor. <gasps> Hiding in the bush. Again, very hard to get that shot. Just keep your eyes open. <laughs> it's people that just glance over, but that was that was tough. And look, this is this is great. I love this. He's in the toilet! <laughs> that was a hard one to get. That was a really hard one to get. Now, oh, oh, we got it! So what was interesting about that shot is when you click fraps, when you when you're recording with fraps, the game does some weird stuff, or it did with my computer. So you'd have raptors attack T-Rexes when they shouldn't, and raptors use the toilets when they shouldn't, and that was one of them. I've got to get out! Oh, I've, he's got to get to the turret! That's right, because it was a turret. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, look, there it is! Go on, Sven. Yeah, there he is! Don't worry, everyone. It's all under control! Look at that, he's mowing down there. This is an epic scene. Oh, but it's about to get a whole lot worse for our adventurers. Like, oh, look, it broke down the fence. Is it looking? I would have had an over-the-shoulder shot like... <laughs> this is supposed to be so epic. This could be bad, says Sven. Oh, but it's still... I've just still got to give it a go. Yeah, I remember it only took like three shots to kill it. So because it was eating a dinosaur, I could like proper nail it. So people who knew what they were talking about, like knew what was happening, be like, why is it still alive? It must be undead, but it's still alive, look! And that was the raptors like trying to like scare it and be like, go away. <laughs> they bark at it. It's chaos. There's, oh, and it got, it got gotten again. Oh, a different one. Look how mad this is. This budget. The budget for this series is through the roof. <laughs> oh no, says nameless person. Help me someone. Damn, he's too dead. <laughs> he must have a weak spot. Oh, that's right. He's like, I can't kill him. He's too dead. <laughs> Shoot the legs. Take the legs down. Maybe he'll trip him up. I see him pop out the top there. Gotcha. So... Yeah, he, he knocked him down, but he's not dead. You see, in the in the real game, he would have died there. The car Carcarodonos has been shot, right? It's fallen down. Now, I wanted it to look like it was, you know, it's injured. But the only way to get it to do its limping animation was to make it sick. And you can't do that. So what you, you have to just keep the game open until it, it eventually catches something. So it's waiting ages and eventually there it is. And not only that, but I had to have it knocked down by something for it to then get up and then look sick. That's the effort that I had to put in to get these shots. And I, I think it just flies over everyone's head. It's like, what is this rubbish? And it is. It is genuinely rubbish. But there was effort put in to make the rubbish. <laughs> Maybe this is our chance to get out of here. Look, he's wounded. Uh, what happened to the phone call? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That's literally me saying it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I called the... Hey, look. There's a car coming. Whoa. Who's this? Who could be driving a car? And who did he call? Hey, wait. Who's driving the car? So many questions. <laughs> who is it? Matt! Hey there, friends. I see you're in a spot of trouble. Don't worry. You'll be safe in this car. Look at his face. He's got, he's got that grin. And I think once I looked at his character a little bit more, I was like, wait a minute. I could do something here. I don't think you have a choice, says Matt. Oh, oh. This was a bit unexpected. 
And off he goes. Ah, he's like, oh, you got away. Fine. And the end of the crescendo. Beautiful. <laughs> Where are you taking us? Matthew, don't be afraid. Sally. What is that meant to mean? Sally exclaims. Oh, see, what, what kind of music is this? I don't want you to be afraid of death. It's coming to us all. Ooh! If you just put the gun away, I'm sure we'll cooperate. Oh, he's got a gun at them. He's got a gun at them. There you go. I have to translate that through text. I've got to stop here and get something, says Matthew. This is like Harry Potter and Gringotts. He's like picking up the floss of the stone. <laughs> Fine. But forced, you got to tell us what you're... Uh, I don't I, I missed that last bit. What you got? Where, you, where you're going? Oh, and then I had to manually take care of us. Sven. Well. Well. That's what he's like. Well, I'm going to the toilet. <laughs> he's lying. Don't believe him. Sally. Quick. Let's get out. <laughs> Sven. It's too late. He's locked the doors. It's good writing. This is good writing. Ooh. Little dryos outside. Having a little drink. Oh, security cameras. I like... Good job. <laughs> this is supposed to be somebody else. Sir, he's coming back. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh my god. Guys, we're on like the second last episode. It's about to go crazy. It's about I'm about to dig myself into a corner that I couldn't I didn't know how to dig out of. Are you ready for this, Matthew? Well, we're close. I did, I wonder what year this was. Probably still 12 years ago. Close to what, says Sven? Boy, these those cliffs are huge! Sally, is that all you can think about? Because <laughs> Sarah's a ditzy, you see. Sven, maybe they're hiding something. Like, that they, they are hiding something. <laughs> exactly, Sven knows. Sally, hey, why are we stopping? Matthew, I'm afraid this is where your journey ends. So this is it? You're just going to leave us here? It's not bad. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> hey, what's that? Is that the thing that killed Peter? Oh, that's right, because remember the very start? Matthew and Peter? Oh! Not for- oh, okay, threw it. There you go, that was from a tornado. No, stop! He won't see us! So Sven knows. He's like Alan Grant. He knows its vision is based on movement. Don't stop now! Put your foot down! <laughs> I thought he was dead, says Sally. Is he going to say something about... I wasn't planning on showing you this, says Matthew. Oh, so Matthew was planning to just drop them off in the middle of nowhere. Sally, no time for that. We've got bigger problems. Oh, this is this was good. This was good. I had to, like, slowly tap because of the lag. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd zoom off. No, this. Are you ready? I had, to, I had to plan this to make sure that it would go over. Whee! Down the other side. T-Rex can't get over that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, look, and here we go. The T-Rex is like, oh, fine, I'll go away then. What is this place? Looks man-made. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Matthew, this is where my journey ends on this planet. Planet? <laughs> I'm off. I've given you the keys for the car, says Matthew. For what good it'll do you, like I said, we all die. Just it comes to some of us sooner than others. Oh, oh, is it, but we thought, but the T-Rex, wait, I like you see the lure. That's me trying to get the T-Rex to roll. I've placed a lure like right there. The T-Rex found another way into the canyon. Oh my God. Sally, I'll drive. Oh, look. Damn, that truck with teeth got in. I don't know why I said that. I think somebody else said that. We need to get back over that hill again. Just wonder, oh look, there's food in the distance. <laughs> Build up some momentum. <gasps> Are they gonna make it? Oh, they're gonna do it! Are they gonna get over before the T-Rex bites him? He caught the engine! Oh, it got, you see that? It opened its mouth while it was like... Oh, so that it blew up. Do you think he saw us? This is talking to Matthew in the helicopter. <laughs> yep, I'm just thinking, where do we go from here? I like it. Oh, oh, look at that! Look, I put an effect in! What? Sarah, let's go. He won't come back. Sally, I don't want to stay here. Matthew, I love you. <laughs> oh, shut up. Don't even try. <laughs> so that was her like, no, come on. I love you. <laughs> oh, God. Then what do we, what do you suppose we do? 
This is a this is a bad situation. I suppose we should split up and try to find that building we stepped out off at. <laughs> That's right, the visitor center. They need to get back there. Sarah. All right then. Let's get started. And off they go. Off they go. What? Oh, they see this little Matthew up there? <laughs> oh, it just went night. Great. Now it's getting dark. I couldn't fade. I just had to, like, put it on the scene. You couldn't fade. It was like, boom, it's dark. Oh, huh. well, at least it stopped raining. Oh, that's Max. Max is a new character. Oh, look, look, look at that. It stopped raining. That's the first thing that's gone wrong. That's gone right. What's that? Up there. What is it? Like, wh wh what are you talking about? How many lives is it going to take before, before, look above you? Is, is that, I think it is, but that can't be right. He's jumped the shark. <laughs> so that was from Age of Mythology. There was, there was, um, I remember going into the editor and finding like, because they do all the cutscenes in Age of Mythology are, you can make yourself. And at one point there's like a view of the earth. So you could, you could have the earth. And I remember thinking to myself, wouldn't it be a cool twist if they looked up and then you could see the earth and it's like, oh, they're not on planet earth when they are. <laughs> But I thought that was the end of season one. And I remember thinking, like, seasons, oh my god. <laughs> I was so good at adding seasons. And I remember thinking to myself, wait, what do I do now? How do I explain this? Oh no. Episode 11, season two, I think is the last one. Are you ready? Oh, are we having a flashback? Oh, we have an intro! Oh, maybe there's two episodes. The Deadline. I made that on like freetext.org and you type it in and generate it. <laughs> the Deadland 2. <laughs> so th this actually had an intro and this is the intro. <laughs> that shot is actually from my Numa Numa video. The Deadland 2. As if you didn't see that already, you need to see it again. Here we, ooh, look, I zoom out, but it's still the same dimensions, though. <laughs> if we are going to find the building, we're going to ha Why is the quality terrible now? We're going to find a building, we are going to have to know where we came from. I'm sure we came along the river. But did we? Did we, though, Sally? Or Sarah? God knows, there's too many S's. And if not... We might find our way back to the compound. I wonder if this was like a bigger dimensions, but I forgot how to render it out properly. <laughs> no, I'm not listening to you anymore. You always lead us into more trouble, says Bob. He's gonna, he's gonna go off. I'm going my own way. That's certainly not how you die. Definitely not. Oh, something looked around the corner there. We don't need him. He's not the one who talked about the balloon and that amazing idea. Come on, gang. Let's follow the river. <laughs> Come on, gang. Trees mean safe, says Bob. Oh, you see that? That was from a different angle. And it was like a lower angle from within the trees. That was from a viewing dome. <laughs> Just any way to try and get different angles. So what's your story? Why were you on the helicopter, says Max. Oh, this is like, why were they the whole time? Harry, who is new one? Do I have to tell you, Max? No. Wait. Wait. You see that? Yeah, it's off in the distance. There's something in the distance there. <gasps> you see that? Never mind. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, no, now he's unhappy. Oh, but it's still there. It's properly this planet's air. <laughs> I'm going to say it's probably this planet's air. <laughs> oh, God. I think DB Rex did a similar thing and he he boxed himself into a corner and was like, oh, how do I how do I get out of this? <laughs> Bob, shoo! Go away! Oh, he, he literally said go. Oh, that was a good shot. I love the way that looked. So this is interesting. This is like Dita Stark. That's it! And then he like he's supposed to whack him, and that's why he falls over, but like, how can I show that? Like, go away! <laughs> Much better. So Bob now, for whatever reason, because we've only seen his great plan, we don't know what kind of person he is. So all the people are on the middle island, but there's Serato on the left. Eh? Sally's like, not much farther now. But is it? Oh, oh. oh, I can't explain it. Boredom, this is. This has been one really weird weekend. Nice that it's going... Oh, missed it, James. You didn't leave enough uh, time for me to read it. 
Oh, but the Ceratosaur's up. The Ceratosaur's up, and he's moving around. He doesn't know where he's going. Run, run, says Harry. Because we've already lost Matthew now, so we need we need new characters. <laughs> Why are we running? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I like how Sally's changed. I think uh, there's, now Sally's ginger. Oh. oh the Ceratosaur's not hungry, though. Oh, but wait! Bob's by himself! Oh, no! And he's standing still because he's on a path. Sven, there it is! Oh, I wonder if I managed to... Where have you been? Oh, wait, what? I don't... I don't understand. Was it supposed to be... Oh, yeah, I remember this bit. Oh, no! No, that's it! I actually did the next episode. And I never uploaded it. I got... I got like three quarters of the way done. They found an audio log. I remember recording, and I might even have part of it. I don't have the file because it was Windows Movie Maker and it was an old computer. And that computer is long since gone, so I'm never going to have it back now. But I remember, um, like, getting zombie sound effects. So they go into the visitor center and they find, like, an audio log. And then they hear from inside a room, like zombies and stuff. I, re I remember putting all the audio together and it sounded so cool, but there was no visuals. And I was thinking, do I have it just like black screen? How do I record this? And I think that's when I stopped. I was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this. Oh my God. Was that like, yeah, look at that. Eight years ago. That went up to eight years ago. And I, I want to show you this. So this whole series is 13 and or more years old. And I re-uploaded it to my Deadland channel. I don't know why, but I just wanted like something official to be like the Deadland. And I think it had a director little tag. If you remember like underneath um, like profile pictures on the old YouTube, you could categorize what kind of channel you were. And I had director. I was like, yeah, I'm a director. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I made the Deadland. But on the Deadland, uh, it's only eight years old. But really, it's over 13 years old. Um, so if you scroll to the comments, who's this? It's Swerve. <laughs> Did I respond to it? No one cares. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well, this is so much fun. Kind of ended the uh, the series. And then I started getting into like edgy tributes for like T-Rex and Triceratops, which ended up getting millions of views. And then my first ever animation that I did. I'd like to do a video of like all my animations, like to present day kind of, and just, just to show you like how far you can come from like terrible beginnings and maybe inspire somebody who is doing terrible stuff now, or at least, you know, they think it's good, but to everyone else, they might think it's terrible. But if you if you stick at it, you can end up like me, a let's player. <laughs> so anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, oh, it was fun. A trip down memory lane for me and a trip down cringe lane for all of us. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, leave a like until next time. I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye